everybody. Welcome to Clown World News. We're in dark mode right now for some reason. I just don't... It's a light. But regardless of the light, the darkness is overwhelming. What kind of illumination can we get from Twitter today? Did you know that Donald Trump has an Adderall railing addiction? Well, shit, this tweet said it. It's long been rumored. Duh. Everyone remembers these rumors. It's long been joked about. Who hasn't joked about this? Remember all those stand-up comedy bits where people joke? The SNL skit? Of course. But Donald Trump is 74 years old. Okay, by the way, that, is he really? How old is Donald Trump? It, dude, it knew what I was going to type. 70, he is 74. Wow. It knew. If he has a serious drug problem, such as an Adderall addiction, America needs to know. Retweet if you agree. Now, what evidence do they have? Well, duh, can't you see? He's got a runny nose. Subject studied very, very carefully and very accurately. Uh, oh, shit. Did you see that? Irrevocable, undebunkable proof that Donald Trump rails Adderall. Because look. Studied very, very carefully and very accurately. Oops. It's all out in the open now. Can we get an instant replay? Oh, go, we can watch it go back up. Where did that even come from? Do we know that came from his nose? That could have came from behind him. <laughs> is is his nose running? All right, never mind. That could just be the lighting. Oh no! Did it come out? Where did that come out of? Okay, well, if we're looking at trajectories, looking boom, 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 boom. It looks like it came out of his mouth. But for some reason, Adderall was trending on Twitter. And this, the magic loogie. <laughs> the magic, because everyone who's ever railed Adderall knows this is exactly what happens. Anyone who's ever taken Adderall, yeah, why would... Donald Trump, yeah, he's got the best medical team out there, but he's railing Adderall like a college kid on finals week. Again, look at the trajectory. It's definitely coming from his nose, not from behind him. You can see it. Look, of course, look at all these pixels. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is hilarious. That this is the this is the evidence. This is what the news has come to. That this, let's listen to it again. You gotta listen for it. What? <laughs> How did this become? All right, look at the look at the curve. Look at the curvature. Look at the curve. <laughs> Bro, there, there's more curvature on this piece of Adderall than there is on planet Earth. And I mean that as a round Earth. <laughs> I don't want to get into flat Earth right now. This is about flat Earth, round Earth, but that is a lot of curvature. But again, you'd think if that came from his nose, you'd see it coming from his nose. Regardless, this is ridiculous. That is definitely Adderall. Everybody knows that's what the pixel... All right, I'm, t I'm tired of, of talking about everybody knows. The fact that hashtag Adderall... Hashtag... What are we going to get with the hashtag? How do you even spell this shit? Hashtag Adderall... Large white particle debris ejected from Trump's nose or mouth five times during his press conference. Five times? Near, far, wherever you are. I don't know what this is all about. But that song is addicting. Probably the best thing to come out of Canada, perhaps. Right, I'm digressing. But did you know... <laughs> did you know that Trump has an Adderall problem? Because Twitter said so, look. Look at it, of course. That couldn't be anything, literally nothing else. There's nothing else that could be. All right, I'm done with this story. This story sucks. I'm in the dark. I'm in the dark like everybody else who's trying to report on this news. <laughs> Is this really the news? Is this what it's come down to? Joe Biden has literally lost his mind, can't figure out which foot is his right foot and which foot is his other foot. He doesn't know how to tie his shoes, he's got Velcro shoes. All right, I don't know that to be true. What I'm saying is like, this is the news? All right, all right, I'm done. There's no jokes to be made. This is a very serious topic. 
Very serious. I mean, to be fair, after he after this happened, he did go and clean the White House for six hours straight. So I understand why they think that. All right, jokes aside, that's it. That's the story. There's nothing to his story. I don't think that's Adderall. I don't even think that came from his his nose. Maybe it came from his mouth. Maybe he ate food. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's an it's an ICBM. You know, like it could be anything. It's an Alamau. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's probably not Adderall. So remember, take everything you hear with a grain of salt, because that might be reported on. You might you might read that as a headline later on. And just, a, a friend sent me a, a message. We're going to change it real quick before I wrap this up. A friend sent me a message where he was talking with somebody, and the, the person was was questioning the video of the BLM going into the restaurant and causing the, the ruckus. They said, like, oh, all I saw was one chair get broken. It doesn't really, I mean, it doesn't seem, I don't see. And it ended with, she said, you have your sources that you get your news from, and I have my sources that I get my news from. So we were probably not going to agree. And I'm just thinking, like, okay, what does that matter? What 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 is the point of that? Because regardless of where you get your news from, are you looking at the same video? Are you looking at the video of BLM going into the restaurant and causing a ruckus? Sir, I heard a ruckus. I distinctly heard a ruck. Can you describe the ruckus? These people don't matter. They've already decided. These people's uh, logic is, doesn't matter, I guess. Ah, their logic matters. They matter. These people matter. Everybody who's been radicalized in the BLM movement or at these protests, whatever, I want you guys to all know that when this is all over, I'm not going to hold it against you. I don't think people should like look back and be like, oh, he was at the riots. Mm. I mean, if you were burning shit down, for sure we should hold that against you. But like, think about how many people went out and joined the hippie movement. That sure turned out swell. A lot of those guys went out and became Fortune 500 company owners. You know, it is what it is. Can't be what it's not. And I'll tell you what it's not. It's not snot. It might, or it might be snot, but actually, it, it doesn't come from his mouth. I don't know. Let's look at this again. I, I'm, I'm going to contest that, that angle. Am I really doing this? I, I'm, I'm tired of talking about if I'm doing it or not. It's getting real meta. It's, all right, so yeah, just take everything with a grain of salt. Uh, be a good person. Call your mom. You know, don't, just re don't throw everyone that you don't agree with or doesn't agree with you under the bus. They're still people. They're still humans. Let's treat everybody with a little bit of decency, a little bit of dignity, but you can still hold your integrity. So yeah, be on the lookout for this news report. I, I hope not, but I mean, shit, they're already trying to report that Donald Trump doesn't know who fought and which side on World War One or two. So whatever, breaking it down. It's, it's, I'm outroing. Call your mom. Peace.